Hi there, welcome to the Beaten Trail, and in this episode we are going to help you save that tire. So here we have a tire from our Polaris Trail, took a, a nasty cut to the sidewall, and this tire is really never going to have structural integrity to hold on to air. So really what we're going to do, we got another rim, and uh, thanks to my friend Jeff, uh, he talked to me and told me about a website, Just Tubes, and I was able to get a spare tube. So what we're going to do is we're going to patch this tire up. Uh, but it, it's going to hold air via a tube inside. So here we have our tire plug kit. <laughs> Unfortunately, they were orange and not black, but you don't realize this until you open it. And here we have a little patch kit with some rubber cement. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and use our tube that we got online. Uh, and then we have a set of uh, angle cutters, which we'll use to trim those plugs. We're going to put links for all these items up on Amazon, so you can always help us. We've got credit for your purchases. Uh, Just Tubes has a great uh, selection of tubes. Go ahead on there and take a look at it. So I'm not going to really show you how to put a plug in a tire. I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. If you want, I'll do a separate video. But really, you just want to get some stability to that side wall. Really, it's not going to have to hold air. We're going to have a tube in there. But go ahead and trim it in. Trim it up really nice and make sure it's flat on the inside and the outside of the tire. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take the patch kit and we're going to apply some uh, rubber cement liberally and we're going to go ahead and give that a good uh, packing in there and make sure it's a flat patch on the inside of the tire and, uh, you know, we'll be able to get some, uh, you know, more surface uh, stability and strength in there just for uh, when we want to use this tire riding down the road. So the whole idea is to make this tire more stable. So we went over to uh, Steve and Danny over at Steve's foreign car. They always help me out with my regular car. So we went over there and he's basically going to lube up this tire and get the rim on. We're going to make sure that tube gets in there. And, you know, really it's going to help overall to make this a good spare tire. And again, a two day trip, you get a flat the first day. This is good to have a second, uh, second spare. So really, um, your mechanic should be able to go down to about 13 or 12 inch rim, check with them. Uh, Danny was able to do this here with a 12 inch rim that I have on the trail. And he's uh, just making sure this tube gets in there properly and you know we don't have any issues with it getting caught. Uh, we got the valve stem right in the rim uh, and he's gonna put some air in there. But overall, uh, really check with your mechanic. Um, I'm sure your dealer could do this too, but they probably will say no. Uh, I went to a tire place, they wouldn't patch it either, so really the tube method is a great way to save some money as opposed to buying a brand new $150 tire. So what do you think about this? You know, I mean, really, uh, would you rather spend $150 or would you rather, you know, spend, you know, $50 worth of tube parts and spare stuff? You really already should have the cutters and you should have everything else. But tell us what you think and what you've had for a bad tire story. Uh, go ahead and thanks again for Danny and Steve over Steve's foreign car. We appreciate it uh, But go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure that you uh, give us some likes and give us some comments and tell us What kind of video you'd like to see so we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks again, and we'll see you out there on the trail